logic and emotion often contradict one another. You know you need to do something, but somehow you find yourself resisting it. When you feel like this, what can you do? Hi, I'm Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. On reflection, are you more of a rational thinker, a logical thinker, or an emotional thinker? When it comes to making important decisions, are you more logically based, rationally based, or emotionally based? It can be said we seem to have two minds. It sounds a bit mental, I know. We have a black and white rational mind and an impulsive, passionate, and sometimes illogical emotional mind. And these two minds can get caught up in fighting one another. However, the interactions between these two minds influences almost everything we do of any note. When in danger, we need both of these minds working together in absolute lockstep. But what about everyday events? How do you strive for and get the right balance? Just take a moment and consider when you make an important decision, do you rely more on rational thinking or more on emotionally based thinking? What tends to dominate your thinking? And do you sometimes find your response impedes what you ideally would like to make happen? Frankly, any major personal growth will doubtlessly come from how well you unite these two minds. The quest to find a perfect sense of inner peace, a kind of wholeness of some kind that naturally complements your logical thinking. If you would like to feel truly motivated and get great results, it's worthwhile spending some time to consider how well you do respond to external stimuli and stress. There's no need to get caught up in an unpleasant emotion for any length of time, and nor should you steer clear of making decisions using your emotions. That's counterproductive. When dealing with others, self-awareness and observation are key. The ability to listen better, listen carefully, while watching the nonverbal messages that are always on show is a huge advantage. Once you notice these things, it gives you incredible information that you can use both rationally and emotionally. And of course, this is the very essence of emotional intelligence. A quick chat about sales. Selling has become much more of a relationship-oriented job than ever before. Building long-term win-win relationships that result in repeat business and gain customer loyalty is the name of the game. Having the capacity to monitor your own feelings and understand the impact of the feelings of others is at the very heart of a really good selling technique. So using rational thinking and emotionally based thinking plays a decisive role in knowing how to use them at the right moment in an important conversation plays huge dividends. Success requires being genuine with others and having a real interest in helping them to solve their problems. Asking good questions, listening attentively, using both your minds is the objective and it's quite a challenge. Take the time to reflect. Could you fuse your two minds together more readily to feel more confident and content? Make no mistake, you will prosper far more if you can get your two minds working in harmony. Thanks for watching. Go to knowyourmind.com and let me know where I can send you something I believe will benefit to you. Remember, you have many faces, many skills, many talents and some wonderful attributes. Why not put them to use? So until we chat again, take care. Cheerio for now.